Today we are going to be talking about the Clipper 27 auger kit and the Clipper 27 step pulley kit that is used to adjust the speed of the bottom blast fan. We are going to have a link in the description to the Clipper 27 auger kit. Looking at the auger here that is mounted under the Clipper 27, you can see, looking at it from the end here, that the correct rotation from this end would be clockwise. So if the cleaner motor is running in the right direction, this auger would be turning clockwise. Down at the opposite end, obviously it would be counterclockwise. So you can see, looking at it from this end, that the direction would be turning counterclockwise. This is showing the auger support bracket. This is used for mounting it to the frame of the cleaner. As you can see here, when you receive the kit, you will have to support the auger from above from this end and get everything lined up and then use a drill bit to drill through this metal plate and through the wood to run your carriage bolt through the wood and fasten it to the frame. This is a one quarter inch carriage bolt and two bolts are used for this step. You can see that the bottom part of the auger support bracket is fastened with these fasteners and the clean out door runs through a hole that is on the bottom of the bracket. On the underside of the auger it is mounted in two places. There are two quarter inch bolts that are used to mount it here where the grain comes down into the fan housing airstream and then falls into the auger boot. The second place is right under the curved part of the fan housing and it is bolted here with two quarter inch bolts as you can see. This is showing the bolts from inside the fan housing. It is important to note that a washer must be used on this end to spread the pull of the bolt and nut out. It is important to note that a bearing is used on the bottom end of the auger and the bronze bushing assembly is used on the top discharge end of the auger. When installing the bearing on the bottom end of the auger, it is important that you use the installation bolts correctly. The bolts go in with the bolt head towards the inside as you see here in the video. The nuts go on the outside of the auger tube and they hold the bearing in place. It is important to ensure that all the set screws on the bearing and the bottom auger pulley are tight before putting the unit into operation. This auger kit is designed so that the auger and the auger tube can be removed out of the auger boot. This will help with installation or with removing the auger if that is needed in the future. You simply loosen these quarter inch bolts on each side of the auger tube. You would then have to remove the bottom auger pulley and loosen the set screws on the bearing. Then you should be able to gently remove the auger tube out of the auger boot assembly and the auger core. You could then remove the bottom part of the auger support bracket and the entire auger tube and core could be pulled up out of there and through and out of the machine. The installation of the auger clean out door and handle is pretty simple. You can see it goes through the bracket and it is attached down below. 
also with quarter inch fasteners. This is showing the underside of the auger clean out door. See the two quarter inch nuts here set up in a jam nut configuration. And up here, you can see it easily slides in and out in its track. It is important to note when installing this auger kit that the plastic part of the auger is sticking down into the auger boot enough so that as the seed drops down into the auger boot it can easily be conveyed with the flighting up the tube and out into your clean seed receptacle. This is showing the auger core at the discharge end of the auger. You can see that it just barely sticks out past the edge. So this will give you an idea of where to position the auger core inside of the auger tube. This is showing the double pulley system and bracket for taking the belt around the underside of the cleaner and driving the auger from below. You can see how we have it mounted here. The important thing to remember when installing it at this step is to make sure that the belt is as straight as possible going to the pulley that drives the auger. Sometimes it may be necessary, as we have done here, to put a wood shim behind it to make sure that this belt is at the optimal tightness so that the auger will run smoothly and not be stopped when it has grain in it. You can see here how we have cut out a small V shape in the back part of the wooden sill at the bottom of the cleaner. This is necessary to do to run the belt through again so that you can drive your auger. See it's bolted here, here, and up here. This is showing the auger drive pulley. You can see our pulley configuration here. There's the motor, and then this is the pulley used to drive the eccentric shaft. And then the auger drive pulley is just behind that. This is a pulley that is specially bored out to inch and 3 16 which matches the size of the shaft on the Clipper 27 seed cleaner. And an A144 belt, that's what this is, is used to go around this drive pulley and down and drive the auger. Now at times, depending on the configuration of your double pulley system and where it has to be positioned, a larger or a longer belt is used. We have an A144, that is pretty well standard, but sometimes an A146 is needed. This is showing the setup of the pulleys. You have your eccentric drive pulley that is attached to the motor pulley. This is the auger drive pulley. And then you have this double pulley system. The smaller one is used to drive the hopper. The larger one is used to drive the brush system. This is the upgraded 4-bolt flange type bearing that replaces the old brass type bushing that mounts here on the side of the cleaner. This is showing the Clipper 27 running with the auger kit installed. I have the belt guards removed for this portion of the video for demonstrational purposes only. It is important to note to always run your machine with the belt guards in place but I wanted to show it. You can see it may look like it's going the opposite direction due to the frame rate of the camera, but the fan is always supposed to be turning with the air paddles pushing the air up through the air stream and out the back of the cleaner. So you can see we have a counterclockwise rotation, blowing the air in through the hole and up through the air stream and out the back. The auger, you can see, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is running at a counterclockwise rotation from the back end. And at the top end, the little shaft is running in a clockwise rotation.
This is showing the V-Belt Step Pulley Kit for the Clipper 27 Seed Cleaner. This is available on our online store. You can find the link to that on our website by clicking on the shopping cart. This is the upgraded option that we offer for adjusting the bottom blast fan speed. It works off of pulley ratios. This is the drive end for the bottom blast fan. And the way a ratio works is if it's on the larger diameter part of the pulley on the drive end and the smaller on the other end, it will be turning faster. The middle speed is one to one, which means the fan will be turning the same RPM as the eccentric drive shaft. And the smaller one to the bigger one slows the bottom blast fan down. Depending on what is available at the time when ordered, these step pulleys can either be a 3, 4, and 5 combination or a 4, 5, and 6 combination. The only thing that would change would be the belt size. With a 4, 5, and 6 combination, the belt size is A73. With a 3, 4, and 5 combination, the belt size is A70. Concludes the video for the Clipper 27 auger kit and the step pulley kit.